Hi, I'm Amy Federighi, and today we are taking a look at the city's efforts to improve accessibility for disabled individuals. About one in five Americans have some type of disability. The Americans with Disability Act, or ADA, was signed into law in 1990 to help these individuals. The ADA makes it illegal to discriminate on the basis of disability. Basically, to get around here in the city of Shawnee on my scooter, um, I'm very limited on where I can travel. Sidewalks are available in some areas, and in some areas there are not any sidewalks available, and some areas they even start and then basically go away. To meet the challenges that the disabled face, the city has a process of self-evaluation and a transition plan. Justin Erickson describes the process of self-evaluation. requires us to review all of our, our policies, all of our buildings, our parks, all of our facilities and physical improvements to make sure that it's compatible with the law. And so we're undertaking that inventory at this point. And once we compile that inventory, we're then required to create what's called a transition plan. And the transition plan states how you're going to transition from, from a non-compatible situation when you're, where you're not, not compatible with the law to where you then become compatible. And it will include a, a list of improvements that need to be done as well as a cost estimate and then a schedule of when those improvements will be done. Well, we're currently doing an ADA evaluation for all the uh, sidewalks and handicap ramps uh, within the city limits and uh, within the public right-of-way. To evaluate it, we have a, a sheet that we have developed um, to go out and measure the slope, the cross slopes, uh, the tactical warnings, um, just to make sure that there's a level landing area to uh, help them transition off the streets, um, check, make sure they're within the crosswalks. Once we have, have checked that intersection, we, we take that data, we apply it to a map so that we can um, see an overall view of the city of, of what areas we need to focus most on. The importance really is in the lives of people. Before we started this, anywhere you went, you sat in the street. And where there was curbs, that's a steep you couldn't get up them. And that's been modified in a great way. The slope, the cross slope, the width, and all the data, the information that we need. When they get the data collected, they'll put it all together and see what needs to be done first. They've got it together. My role of the ADA compliance officer is to, is to give the public uh, an office to come in and, uh, uh, and, and to take grievances uh, as to conditions that, that are out of compliance. It, it, it gives them an area where they can actually come and fill out a written complaint and this office will give them a written answer back as to what corrections are needed or uh, to why those features aren't necessarily required to be in place at that location or inside that structure. The grievance process is all about the citizens getting involved. Anyone can file a complaint alleging discrimination on the basis of disability. Complaints should be submitted on the grievance form to Mike Cox at the Code Enforcement Office. You can go to www.shawneeok.org backslash ADA for more information. I'm hoping that the city of Shawnee will see that people with uh, dis limited disabilities, physical disabilities, um, need to be able to travel throughout the city without so many um, obstacles in their way. We need to be able to go shopping, to the movies, to um, even visit our friends within the neighborhood. If uh, there are sidewalks, we can do that. The street is not a safe place for wheelchairs or even um, pedestrians to be walking because of the traffic and so forth. We're very limited in uh, what we can do and we can't do uh, in traveling about the town. So when these sidewalks are become available, they will also help not just those with physical disabilities, but um, all residents here in the city of Shawnee. The city's mission is to provide a walkable community with sidewalks and crosswalks that are ADA compliant and available for all citizens. I'm Amy Federighi with your City Report. Thank you for watching.